hey guys if you guys are receiving social security insurance benefits you know this video is for you why because i'm sure three reasons why it might be depleting and you might even shrink your benefits each month okay so make sure you subscribe with the like button and if you're watching on tiktok you may be sure to watch it on youtube to watch the full video full details and obviously you have full information for you guys right so make sure you subscribe with the like button and stay tuned to this video because i'm explaining again three reasons why your social security my benefits might shrink now you know i have an article right here you know you could always follow along hear my explanation and i'll give you every details and you know the 100 percent facts why because of new articles from the internet okay it's not fake all right so let's begin it says again three reasons why social security benefits might shrink and if you want to know what um difference what social security benefits were right now you can check online uh, you can check my youtube channel and you can obviously um search my name with the topic such as social security benefits and you'll find a related video of anything i made before right so make sure you watch those videos if you have any questions but you guys already know there's inflation going up and social security increased just recently which gave you guys 92 dollars per month extra okay which is great news for you guys but as you stay tuned to my videos you're gonna see why it's also a bad thing and why now it could even shrink right so it's try to save aggressively for retirement life expenses might get in the way as such you can end up uh, relying quite heavily on social security during retirement right after retirement you don't have to work you don't have no funds you don't receive no money and you just depend on social security income okay now again if this benefits you keep watching the video okay because you want ways to actually make money you want ways to actually save money you want ways to actually make this money last you but this is possible it might even shrink so try try to not make it shrink as much right so it says even if you do manage to kick off senior years with a healthy sum of money with a 401k plan you might you still want to enjoy as high benefit as possible for social security right but here are a few reasons why it might shrink or why you're not collecting as much right don't worry i made another video uh, explaining three reasons why uh how to get the max amount amount max amount of benefits from your social security income per month so make sure you watch that video too so you could probably make those changes and get the maximum amount per month right and in this video we're talking about how it could actually deplete and even shrink right so reason number one, you're filing before your full retirement age, right? So it says it's calculated based on your earnings during your 35 highest paid years, okay? No matter how many years you, you work, it's calculated 35 years only from 100 years, and it has to be the highest paid years, right? And it says it's going to collect your benefit, your full data, and so you can reach full uh, until you reach your full retirement age, right? Or your FRA. Okay, so it says many people don't know their FRA ahead of retirement and winding up claiming benefits earlier. The Social Security Administration allows seniors to file for benefits as early as 62 years old. Benefit Many beneficiaries sign up to get their, their money as soon as possible. Meanwhile, some people claim the Social Security age 65 in conjunction with the Medicare enrollment. Okay, so that's so once so that's different you can search that topic a little bit further for your medicare but as you already know many people collect them before at 65 and obviously at early age at 62. but for every month you claim your benefits before reaching your fra they'll shrink on a permanent basis if you want to avoid that hit you sh you need to learn your fra and wait until that age arrives to sign up for social security you can consult this table to see what your FRA looks like, all right? So obviously, if you don't know your FRA, you can watch this table. It says, if you're, you're born between uh, 1943 and 1954, your full retirement age will be age 66, okay? Now, if it's 1955, it's 66 and 67 years old, all right? So that's mostly your FRA, and that's when you're usually supposed to retire, if you wish to retire, right? But that's when one reason why, how you can get the most of your retirement and your first social security income, okay? So that's one reason. Make sure you retire at a full retirement age, your FRA, and obviously get um uh, your full benefits, right? Don't retire too early because then it's not calculated the same. And for retirement age, it has to be 35 years, highest paid years. And yes, if you wait right there, you'll get more. Your total, reason number two, your total retirement income is too high. Okay, so if Social Security is your only retire income, retirement income source, you probably manage to avoid federal taxes on your benefits. But if you have other streams available to you, like retirement plan withdrawals or earnings from part-time job, your benefits might shrink by virtue of getting taxed. Okay, so again, if you're high, you have too much income, 
you'll um you'll you'll get taxed and that's why you see a reduction okay now most people uh obviously the you work more you get more but if it is to if you do are receiving other resources other income from other like plans with job earning t retirement plans then there you'll have to pay taxes on those and that's what you'll get a reduction on your total complete income right obviously you're gonna have is the whole purpose to have more but that will reduce your social security insurance benefits okay so well that depends on your professional income with uh which is your non-social security income plus 50 percent of your annual benefit once that reaches twenty five thousand dollars for singles and thirty two thousand dollars for couples taxes on benefits can apply you see that what i mean so even though uh you reach the top amount once you pay taxes, it will reduce it, all right? Now, a good way to avoid taxes on Social Security benefits is to house your retirement savings on both in a Roth IRA, okay? Roth IRA withdrawals don't get taxed and don't count toward provisional income. If you earn too much money to fund a Roth IRA directly, you can always open a traditional IRA and convert it to Roth, okay? So that's more information. If you guys want to hear about that, leave a comment. I'll make a video about that to teach you guys to see what it is, right? Now, reason number three, you're moving to a state that taxes benefits, okay? Now, some states don't tax uh, Social Security benefits, uh, but these uh, these three, 13 states do tax these Social Security benefits, right? So if you stay in California, you won't get taxed. But if you stay in other states, such as Colorado, Connecticut, Kansas, Missouri, um, it's in Minnesota, Montana, Nebraska, New Mexico, North Dakota, North Island, Utah, and Vermont, and West Virginia, you will get taxed for these um, Social Security retirement uh, insurance benefits. And that's also depleting your, your reasons, right? Now, now, what will your Social Security benefits look like? Obviously, follow these steps. Um, you could obviously get the most amount of money with Social Security benefits, right? Depending on you live in the state, you get taxed or not, depending on how much you actually earn and how much you actually, uh, what age you actually retire, okay? So, obviously, if you follow these steps, you'll get the most amount of benefits. There might be other ways, but these are three simple ways and three reasons why most people see a reduction and why they even shrink and why you should actually uh, uh, consider following these three steps to actually um, not see it shrink, okay? So uh, so if you like this video, subscribe, hit the like button, uh, stay tuned to my next video, because I'm gonna show you again three reasons why, um, you can, uh, three reasons how you can actually get the most amount of social security benefits, okay? Now then, again, this was three reasons how you can avoid it to shrink, how you might even see it shrink, but now I'm gonna show you three reasons to get the most amount of benefits, which is completely different, okay? Thank you.